Hello everyone, welcome to Something's Cooking with Appa and today we are going to make Aloo Palak ki sabji. Now Aloo is kids favorite and Palak not so much. So this is a very interesting way of incorporating Palak into your kids meals. So let's see what we're going to need to make this. I'm sure your kids are going to enjoy. I know you are also going to enjoy. By the way, thanks for subscribing guys. You haven't yet? What are you waiting for? Do subscribe right now so that you don't miss out on any of my such interesting recipes. So let's look at what you're gonna need to make this aloo palak ki sabji. You're gonna need one bunch of palak, rinsed, onion, tomato, garlic, ginger, green chili, roughly chopped up, and potatoes which are boiled and cubed, some dried fenugreek leaf which is kasuri methi, cinnamon cloves, black pepper which is dalchini, a long and kali mirir and some cumin seeds which is jeera, dana jeera powder which is cumin coriander powder, red chili, kashmiri red chili, haldi which is turmeric, curd, a little bit of uh, cilantro which is dhania, oil and a little bit of salt and we are all set. Now in a wok I have already added some water and I'm waiting for it to come to a boil. So our water is now boiling, let's add the spinach into the water and press it down so that all the leaves get immersed in the water so guys after two minutes this is what the palak starts looking like make sure that you never cover it up when the palak is boiling otherwise it's gonna not get this really cheerful color so now I'm simply going to remove our palak and drain out the water Okay, so all my palak is now in my splotted spoon. I'm simply adding some cold water so that it stops from it to get overcooked. And now I'm simply going to add this to my blender and keep it aside. I'm not going to blend it yet. And now adding it to the blender. Guys, in an kadai. I've already added some oil and I'm going to add our dried spices along with some jeera and I'm going to wait till the time the jeera starts sizzling. The jeera started sizzling, now it's time for us to add the green chili, the ginger and the garlic. Mix it all around. Wait for about 30 seconds to a minute and then we are going to add the onions. Now the color has started changing on the ginger and the garlic. Now it's time for us to add the onions and stir that around as well. Now we're going to wait till the time our onions are fully cooked. It's been about 3 to 4 minutes on medium flame. I'd also covered uh, the onions so that it cook a little faster. Now it's time to add the tomatoes and now wait till the time they are also cooked. Guys, it's been another two to three minutes and our tomatoes are very much cooked in. Now I'm gonna add red chili, turmeric, cumin and coriander powder along with the dhania and the kasuri methi guys always add kasuri methi by taking it in your hands and then crushing it like this this helps in awakening the flavor and also i'm going to add some salt and mix it all in and we are going to cook it for another minute okay all our masalas are nicely mixed in and it's smelling so heavenly now it's time for us to add the yogurt and mix it all in again and cook it for another minute. So our masala is ready. Now it's time for us to add it into our blender. Also guys remember that never to blend anything which is this piping hot and this is really hot. Also guys, this masala is what is going to give our palak, aloo palak that unique taste. 
so I will show you once this has come down to room temperature and I've made it into a puree see guys our palak puree is ready if need be guys you can always add a little bit of water for it to become a little bit thin now in that same wok I've added a little bit of oil and to that I am going to add our potatoes to that I'm also going to add a little salt enough just for the potatoes and a little bit of turmeric and mix it all in and we're going to cook this for just about a minute oops <laughs> looks like I'm in need of spinach more than anybody it's time for us to add our palak puree And mix it all in once you mix it well we are going to cook it on low flame for just about a minute and then I'm going to transfer and give a taste test Guys, I just transferred it into a bowl and I grated a little cheese as you know that kids are so fond of cheese and that is going to definitely going to excite them and this plate I've made it ready for me and I am digging in also I've made myself some lachha paratha which I'm sure you can find the recipe on my channel as well as on my website so here we go mmm absolutely yummy very 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 delicious I really hope that you do make this recipe in your house for your kids also make sure when you're making it for your kids make it a little less spicy and I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you very soon take care bye bye